My name is Timothy Sullivan. When I went to Japan for the first time, I was getting uh, an award, and I was part of a Shinto ceremony at a shrine in Kyoto. And that was the first time I really saw men's kimono up close, and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. The word kimono actually means thing to wear. So for hundreds of years, it was standard daily dress for everyone in Japan. When I got back,、uh, I started wanting to learn a little bit more about that, and then I got an email from one of the、uh, kimono retailers in Japan who said that there's a kimono teacher that is moving to New York, and I just thought, hey, that'd be interesting. That might be fun, and I could really learn how to put this thing on correctly. Because if I go back to the ceremony next year, it would be wonderful if I could wear、uh, men's kimono and wear it properly, and learn their ways, not just slap it on like a Halloween costume. And this is a shot of the tabi socks, which are the split toe socks,、um, and they are quite old school. This is the under kimono, and you tie the juban to secure it in place. Now the next step is to put on the kimono itself. You should pull it up over your shoulders and put your arms through, and then, of course, adjust your collar.、Uh, that is one of the very important things. That just enough of the under kimono, the juban, is showing, and that it lays at the right area. And we're securing the kimono closed with、uh, a cloth, and that just is the basic. Closure. Teacher is adjusting the collar and making sure that just the right amount of the under collar is exposed, and that's one of the reasons that、uh, there are such things as kimono teachers because there's a lot of、uh, set rules about how things should be worn, and、um, you don't want to make any etiquette mistakes. So I mean, we don't have classes in. You know how to put on your business suit. It's pretty obvious. You know once you learn how to tie a tie, in the Western world you can just wear it. We're getting to the meat and potatoes of it. This is tying the obi, which is the、um, the belt. Uh, Hiro Sensei is really tugging very tightly, and keeping things taut and tight is very important. The proportions are very important. The width of the bow, compared to the center tie, has to be a you know specific balance. Once you get into it,、uh, it actually feels really secure because you're basically wearing an open piece of clothing. So you want it to be closed securely, and once the belt is on. It feels very secure and actually very comfortable. And Hiro Sensei is monitoring very closely. The main belt is supposed to dip down in the front. If you have a totally flat stomach, it's not very conducive to having it dip down. So if you have a small little belly, it it sits perfectly. And they actually sell. Uh, a padded belly that you can velcro around your waist for men. I have just enough pot belly to make it good. And this is called the haori, which is basically like the jacket. It goes over the kimono. It's the same color, same fabric. And it has the family crests.、Uh, those white circles are、uh, the family crests. And now I'm tying the haori himo, which is the string closure for the jacket. <laughs> And then a fan, which is the one of the required accessories. Sitting back on your legs like that is called sitting. Uh, seiza. I can do it for about five minutes. I want to be able to uh, sit uh, seiza style for for、uh, as long as I can. So I'll do some training before I go.